Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Don Day with your PLC weekly weather update for this October 16th, 2021. Brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors and also being brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated. As we take a look at the week ahead, these are the western weather highlights. More settled weather in the short term. After a powerful winter-like storm that hit many areas of the central and northern Rockies and parts of the northern plains over this past week, things will settle down a little bit for a few days. We do have a small storm that will move through the central Rockies and parts of the Pacific Northwest early in the week, as well as parts of the northern Great Basin. And then we have some hope for California rain at the end of the month. Our confidence is growing that especially central and northern California, Washington and Oregon and Idaho and parts of the northern Great Basin will see some badly needed precipitation in the form of rain, low, snow high, and we'll talk about that. More active colder weather for the western U.S. at the end of the month, I think right around Halloween time, right at the end of October, we'll see a colder wet pattern move into all of the western United States. So October has thrown at us a pretty good storm here over the past week, and the end of the month should bring more. You can see what the storm did. This is the precipitation since we last talked to you with last week's video. You can see this wide swath of orange and reds going back into a large part of the northern plains, back into the central and northern Rockies, into the Great Basin, Montana, parts of Wyoming, the Dakotas, parts of Nebraska and Idaho, and into the Great Basin here did very well to pick up some really good moisture as well as the western slope of Colorado, northern New Mexico, northern Arizona, and then you can see up here in the Pacific Northwest as well, some good precipitation. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of a rain shadow east of the Cascades here that kept eastern Washington and Oregon drier. But the weather patterns are certainly picking up, and this area right here, the areas that were in severe drought, certainly got a shot in the arm. As some of the rain totals out of the storm, when you take the rain and you add the snow, was in excess of two to three inches, even four inches in some areas within that black circle I just drew. This is the precipitation anomaly, how much above average for the past week, and you can see it overlays what I just showed you. You can see a large part of the central and northern Rockies and part of the Great Basin there getting some badly needed precipitation. So that's a real shot in the arm here as we get into the fall season. Now, what is ahead? What's coming? Well, as we get on into this upcoming weekend and into the early stages of next week, high pressure will dominate. This is the upper level jet stream pattern. The black line I'm drawing you here is showing you where the jet stream is going to be as we head on into the weekend. High pressure over the western United States, a low off the coast of British Columbia, pretty good low up here in the Great Lakes. So that means mild conditions, very pleasant early August, rather early October to mid-October weather coming to the western United States. This is likely going to last through Monday. But you see this guy right here? This is going to be a front and a trough that's going to swing in like this. And we'll show you that here on the next chart. This is by Tuesday. We're going to see areas of rain and snow across portions of Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and the Dakotas stretching back into the Pacific Northwest. Now, this is not nearly as intense as last week's storm, but it is likely going to produce some good moisture. And here it is. We have an east-west band of anywhere from a quarter to over an inch of water in some of these areas right here. And as you probably can tell, this is an axis of rain and snow that's very similar to what just moved through. So the areas that got wet this past week will get wet this following week. It just won't be as big of a storm system. Even into the Sierras of California, the northern coastal areas of California, there's going to be some rain and high mountain snow. And if we were to convert that to snow, you can see the mountains of Oregon and California and Idaho and into the central Rockies, more snows coming. The first layer of snow with the snowpack has fallen this past week and will add to it a little bit by the early parts of next week. But beyond that time frame, as we get a little bit further out, high pressure will return. But as we get to the end of October, things begin to get more busy again. The map I'm showing you here is for October 29th. As we get to the end of the month, I'm going to highlight these two lows right here. A pretty decent storm coming into central California by the end of the month. And another low up here. You see all this blue up here south of the Aleutian chain? That's going to be another deep storm system with cold air and moist air with it. 
and the jet stream winds are going to be very strong. If you notice, you see all these black lines stacked together very closely? This means that the jet stream winds are going to come very strongly onshore into California. When you get these really strong winds moving into the coastal areas, it drives the rain further inland, and you're going to get better chances of mountain snows and coastal rains. And some of that moisture will spill over the mountains and into the interior, then eventually into the central and northern high plains right around the end of the month, right around Halloween time. And this is what the precipitation forecast looks like if we were to look out further to the end of October. See how the red here? Going to see some significant rain. Maybe even Southern California can get into the act. Let's help. But into the Great Basin states, into the Central and Northern Rockies, the prospects for wet weather at the end of the month is looking more favorable. The outlook for the next 30 days with temperature sort of reflects the change in the weather that we've had. A lot of the western United States, where you see the blue and the white, they are going to be cooler than average from the middle of October to the middle of November. We'll have some mild days, but certainly the trends are colder now for the western United States, while the warmer weather is more to the north and east. Precipitation-wise, you can see the blue and the green now creeping further more inland off the coastal areas of the Pacific Northwest and California, and we may see this extend a little bit further east like this as we get to the end of the month and into early November. So the summary in the week ahead is that we're going to have more settled weather here in the short term. We've got this small storm Monday night, Tuesday of next week for parts of the interior west. Some hope for rain in the long term for California, and we'll include the Pacific Northwest and parts of the Great Basin states as well. More active weather for all of the western United States right at the end of the month. Have yourself a great week ahead, everyone. Our next update will be the 23rd.